friends, it's Robin here from Matt Man and Robin, and today I have a haul from Daiso. Now, if you don't have a Daiso near you or you don't even know what a Daiso is, get ready because I love Daiso almost as much as I love Operation Christmas Child because Daiso is a um, Hyakuyen store. So, in translation, that means that Daiso is the Japanese dollar store. Um, so everything, or most everything in Daiso is 100 yen, which in dollars translates to about $1.50 a piece. Now there are several other items in Daiso that can be 200, 300, or 400 yen. And so you just take that and multiply that times $1.50 and that's what the items cost. Um, almost everything I bought today was a dollar fifty or a hundred yen, um, except one thing, and I will show that probably first. But I want to tell you before I get started why I love Daiso. Um, when I was a little girl, I idolized my cousin, and she grew up. She's ten years older than me. Uh, she grew up and went to college, and I decided I wanted to go to the college she went to. That didn't end up happening, but. Um, after she graduated college, she went on to be a journeyman with the International Mission Board, and her placement was in Japan. And she spent her two years, I believe, as a journeyman serving in a small, small city for Japan um, called Kitakyushu. And after her journeyman story was over, um, she fell in love with her translator and they ended up getting married and lived happily ever after in Japan. <laughs> but um, that being said, they started a ministry of their own. And when I was 17, I flew over and spent the summer with them and it changed my life. Um, and I just, I fell in love with Japan and I went back as often as I could for as long as I could. And, um, it, it's been a really long time since I've been back because after I became an adult and had to get a job and then I got married and life just happened and I haven't been able to be back to visit in a really long time and that breaks my heart. And then about four years ago, I was driving to my grocery store and I saw the words Daiso and I thought, that's funny. That's a Japanese store. I wonder what that is. And I walked in and guys... I cried <laughs> for real I cried it's the Japanese dollar store and basically um, these are really really good products everyone in Japan no matter what um, where you fall on the economic status everyone shops at Daiso it's kind of like um, their target I guess would be a really good way to explain it except everything is really affordable and so when I walked in and they were playing Japanese radio and I was seeing all of these Japanese things, my heart exploded and I cried. Um, but that being said, they have some really great items for shoe boxes. And I wanna show you a little bit of some things that I got. These aren't, this isn't everything that I get at Daiso that goes in my boxes. And when I finally declare a box finished enough to show you, Hopefully I'll point out some of the things in the box that are from Daiso. But first, I wanna get a couple things out of the way that are just for us, but I thought that it would be nice for you to see what kind of things you can get at Daiso in case you wanted to do that for yourself or find one near you, or if you're vacationing, go to a Daiso. It's totally worth it. So the first thing is super cute, and I believe, I'm looking at my haul over here, Yes, I believe this is the only thing that was more than $1.50. It was 300 yen, so I paid 450 for this, I think. That's right. Three, four, I don't know. Not that much. But it is, let me see if I can show you. It's a little bug face, it's a hoodie for my pet. 
So it's a little ladybug and I have the strangest cat in the whole world that loves to dress up. She absolutely loves it. We have a little dress for her and she puts it on and she prances around and she'll come and show you and she'll meow and she poses for the camera. I'm not kidding, she loves it. But her nickname is Ladybug. And um, so I got her her own little ladybug outfit and I'm sure she'll wear it at Halloween when all the trick-or-treaters come and see that we have a crazy cat that likes to dress up. So um, as you can see here, it was 300 yen. And the cool thing about Daiso labels is that most things are in English. And then on the back, you can see if it will focus that it's, it's got both languages, Japanese and English. So, um, fun fact, I minored in Japanese in college. I spent five long years studying a lot of Japanese and I can't read any of this. So, yeah, anyway, adorable ladybug outfit for my ladybug, Leia. Um, the other things that I got that are just for us that I thought I would show you are these sunglasses. They are super flexible and decent quality. They're way better quality than the Walmart, I mean the Dollar Tree sunglasses. I would compare them to the like $6 Walmart glasses, except I paid $1.50 for them. And Mattman wears these to work. He works outside. Um, he is basically a foreman that builds swimming pools in our area. And so he's outside all the time and he protects his eyes with these. But um, because he works so hard, they get real scratched up. So we don't invest in expensive ones. We just buy a bunch of these high quality, inexpensive ones um, that he goes through like two a month. So I got a couple pairs of these. These aren't his favorite. They have some that are like faux wood grain and they look wood and they have a reflective lens, and I can't always find those. So these are his second backups that are just generic black frames, dark lenses, generic um, sunglasses, so. And then another thing I get there are my batteries. You can get batteries at Dollar Tree, um, but I find that these are just a little bit better quality and um, you get more of them. Now you still, you pay a dollar fifty compared to Leia's jumping in boxes over there. Compared to the ones at Dollar Tree, which are only a dollar, and so in terms of how much I'm spending, it's just fifty more cents, right? But if you think about it percentage-wise, which is what all of the conglomerate companies are doing when they're thinking about products, that's fifty percent more that they can spend on the quality. Um, and I'm sure they're getting a lot more profit when you spend $1.50 as opposed to a $1. dollar. Um, but you're getting, I feel like you get that 50% in quality in almost everything I buy at Daiso. It's like Dollar Tree times a half, if that makes sense. Anyway, batteries. I also get laundry bags there. These are really great quality. Um, they're like mesh. They're not jersey, they're mesh, which I find the ones that I get at Dollar Tree or even at Walmart, they're more of a jersey. And so the holes are bigger and I feel like if I have a beaded shirt or if like when I put my swimsuit tops, they have metal, um, metal pieces in them, you know, swimsuits, metal straps, whatever. I feel like this mesh protects it better. And it's just $1.50, they're great, get these. Okay, all the boring stuff is over. Now for what I'm really here for, which is Operation Christmas Child items, and I can't wait. Um, I bought something today that I've never bought before, I've never done for Christmas Child boxes before, and I really need your help. <laughs> I got stuff for a fishing kit. Um, now I fish, I fish with my dad, but um, we fish off of a boat and we use fishing rods and lures. So I've never bait fished before with like a stick and a line 
and a hook and a worm. I don't know anything about that kind of fishing. So you're gonna have to help me out here. If you know what I don't know, please help me. Um, so I just kind of went with the motto, hook, line, and sinker, right? Like, that's what people say. So I figured as long as I got those three things, maybe I would be okay. So I got this set of hooks for $1.50. I know if I got them on Amazon, I could probably find them for cheaper, but physically having them in my hand is easier for me. So I got hooks and I got sinkers and I got line. Um, which the other thing I really like about Daiso is that it's all a little bit smaller because it's made in Japan where they're used to having, um, their, their entire lives are shrunken down from ours, meaning that their home space is smaller and they use it much more efficiently than we do. And so everything in their world is not super sized like it is here in America. So I really like that for boxes because I can fit more in a box of things from Daiso than I can Americanized sizes from Dollar Tree. So besides the hooks, the lines, and the sinkers, I also got some bobbers. These are kind of big, but they were the smallest ones they had there. And then I got these hooks, which I don't know if you can see. Let me see if I can get you close enough. It's got a sinker and it is already permanently attached to a hook. So I thought this one was a little fancy and maybe if the kiddo didn't really know how to fish yet, like me, it could already be done for them. And then the last thing I got was this little container um, and it has these pieces that were for fishing and I don't really know. Um, I've seen bracelets made out of these, like to tell men to become fishers of men. So I know this is a fishing thing, but I don't know what for and I just figured I would include it. My real idea is that I wanted something to put all these hooks and, and sinkers in um, that would be safe for the kiddo so they wouldn't poke themselves. And I'm just gonna consolidate some of these and then use these other empty boxes to put the hooks and the sinkers in um, for safety. So I, it was two for one, really. I got the little bits and bobs and the box for safety. So that's all the fishing stuff, and um, hopefully I'll get to show you the finalized kit whenever I get to that. The next thing I got were some Barbie accessories. I thought these were really cute. Comes with two crowns, two necklaces, and a really cute purse for $1.50. And then this one I'm really excited about because this is a Barbie mirror and I think that it's those, um, not, a me I mean, not a glass mirror, so I think I can include it. And this is a Barbie brush, which are so hard to find. Barbies don't come with them anymore and it's confusing to me. But two brettes, um, some cute little glasses and a headband. Let me, let me get my handy dandy scissors here. I wanna see if this mirror, um, or just I wanna see the quality in general. And we'll do that here with you so you can see it too. Really, if there's a Daiso near you, go, because it's, it's worth it just to see the amazing things in there. I don't normally like their toys. This is the first time I've ever seen any type of doll accessory. Okay, here is, um, I see it's that wavy, it's not, I don't think that it's glass. It might be though, I'll double check before I include it. But it's really good quality, it's not that cheap um, dollar store plastic Barbie plastic. Um, and then there's the comb. Like I said, it's just a little bit smaller than we're used to. You know, Barbie combs are usually this size, whereas this one is just a little bit smaller. But it still works for the doll. And honestly, it's the only one I've seen in stores. It's so, win-win. Uh, the other little pieces are really great quality. In fact, better quality than the actual Barbie accessories I bought earlier this year. Perfect. And now, oh man, I meant to go get 
the little spirit doll that I bought this for. Um, earlier this year, I bought um, Walmart clearance a spirit horse, and it came with the the a girl doll counterpart. I haven't seen spirit, so I don't know their character names, and I feel bad. But um, the thing is, she is a, a smaller size than a Barbie, smaller than a Skipper, but bigger than the baby Barbies. And um, I felt bad that she wasn't gonna have a change of clothes. And then I found this. Um, at the at Daiso today, they did have these dolls that were the same idea as a Barbie, but they were smaller. I did not buy any of them because they were that cheap plastic. When you squish their bodies, you felt like their arm was gonna pop out of the socket. They're hollow, they weren't very good quality. But the dresses next to them looked like it would fit the spirit doll. So I bought one. I'm gonna test it to see if it fits her. And if it does, I'll go back and get some more because I bought several of those spirit um, dolls. And I just, I would love to be able to include an outfit for her. But don't go get these and hoping they'll fit a Barbie because obviously it won't. So there's that. The other really cool thing I found, I don't, I didn't even know something like this existed. It's a flat crown. Obviously you're supposed to bend it once it gets out of the box, but these look like they will fit perfect in a Christmas shoe box. Um, I do wanna look at this with you. So here's, here we go. Um, here is, and then if you see there, the instructions do say that you're supposed to um, circle it around, bend it, <laughs> to make a full-sized crown like this. So let's look at this quality here. Oh, it's so cute. It is the things of my dreams with this adorable boa. How cute. And these really cute rhinestones. And then it's supposed to bend. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. They want you to bend it all the way around and make a crown. It is, it is working. I'm just afraid to break it. But I suppose it's supposed to go like this. And if it breaks, then we'll know and we won't buy them to put in our boxes. So here we go. See, it's like this. I feel like I'm breaking it. I hear cracking. It did snap just a little. Bummer. Um, see, I don't know if you can see. It's not, oh yeah, it's snapping. That makes me really sad because they were so cute, flat. Um, and it does come with this little string. Well, bummer, but now we know. Don't buy these. Makes me sad because they're so cute. Anyway, moving on. I did get two of these style um, packable bags. I normally like to send backpacks if I can find the packable backpacks. But these are for toddler boxes. And so they won't need school supplies for a few years. And which I am including. I'm just saying that they don't need to tart tote school books and stuff back and forth every day. But this is primarily to help them get all their goodies that I'm gonna stuff in this box back home um, instead of trying to stuff it all back in the box to get home. So for toddler boxes and boxes that are just absolutely full, if I cannot fit some form of a packable backpack, I will put one of these. So I got two. I needed one for my Sesame Street box and one for my um, shark box. So I got two blue ones. The other thing they have at Daiso are craft kits. So this would be so much fun to include, but you do have to be careful. Um, this will make a cute little felted whale and a felted seal but there are items on the back here, and this is an, it's in English too, it's just really small print. 
these are the items that it comes with, and these are the items that you need to also include. And some of the things on here, like you need wood glue, you can't include in a shoebox. So I did buy this for myself to attempt to make. My mom collects whales, and I'm gonna try to um, make this to put it in her stocking at Christmas. And I can say that because she doesn't watch YouTube. She doesn't know what YouTube is. So, hi mom, if you're watching this, I know you're not, but this, you're getting this for Christmas. Um, the other thing that I got today were these. I have one um, sea life and one dinosaur for my boy toddler boxes. These are sticker books. So it comes with all of those stickers there and then all of these scenes to put your stickers on. Um, let's take a look. Here, oh my goodness, look, it's Dory. I found her, I found Dory, and there's Nemo! Yay, copyright! Anyway, so I know this is in Japanese, but that's okay because it's just stickers, right? Um, so here is the first page of stickers. Now there is a little bit on the inside here that is in Japanese, but again, I don't mind because it's, if it was in English, it probably most likely wouldn't be their first language anyway. So, and then here are the scenes, and this is a real glossy page. Um, so I'm thinking that these are restickable, that you would be able to put the little fishies wherever you wanted on these pages. Look. <laughs> so cute. Again, a little bit more Japanese, but that's okay. So, yeah. And then the dinosaur book, which is probably exactly the same. Now, another thing I get at Daiso are these camping silverware. Um, they aren't the best quality, I'll just be honest. But the spoons are good. Um, the spoons are really good quality. They're much better than, um, they're, they're not disposable, if that makes sense. They are still plastic, but they're not disposable. I really like the spoons, and it comes with forks anyway, so I just include it. However, they're very flimsy. Look at that, very, very flimsy. And I mean, I suppose they work. I have not tried any of them before because I buy them for boxes and I send them new. But what I do is um, put them together like this, and then I rubber band, I put a little hair, those little tiny hair rubber bands, I buy them and I rubber band them together. And for $1.50, you get one, two, three, four, five. So they're a, a quarter, right? Yeah, no, more than a quarter. Nothing on cue is hard because this is kind of nerve wracking to talk to you guys. I don't know why, because I love watching other people on YouTube, but there is something about sitting down in front of a camera knowing that this is real time and it's, it's picking up everything I say. It just gets my heart pumping a little bit and I can't math at that time. So anyway, you get five sets and strangely, very weirdly enough, two knives, but I don't include these at all. Um, these would be good to give to your kiddos or nieces or nephews or whatever for Play-Doh fun. This would be a lot of fun with Play-Doh, good Play-Doh knife, because it's not gonna hurt you at all but I just don't include them. So, I really like this camping silverware set. Another thing I like to get at Daiso are water bottles because like I said, they do everything at a different size than we do. I mean, look, this is my water sitting here on my desk. Well, it's actually the table. This is what I drink. I fill this up three or four times a day. It's not like that in Japan or at least the last time I went. They get little glasses of water like this and they drink it all before or after their meal and that's like, that's it, folks. <laughs> like, we're over here drinking big gulps. Um, but this is the size of the large water bottles at Daiso. Um, 
just for reference, these are regular size scissors, okay? But they're perfect in shoe boxes because they have big wide mouth openings and this little lid, which I think helps aerate the water as it comes through. But um, I really like their water bottles. And they usually have a Mickey and a Minnie and a Pooh, Winnie the Pooh. Um, and then they just have generic things. And you do have to be careful at Daiso with um, buying things because the English sometimes is not, um, they design it with their language in mind and then they translate it into English. And so it doesn't always make sense. Like this, for example. I think this is supposed to say glamping but it says gram, gram pick. What? Like, is it supposed to be a picnic? Is it supposed to be glamping, camping? I don't know. It doesn't translate sometimes into English. Um, but it does say eat, drink, and be merry. So that's, we use that saying. You just have to be careful. But can't go wrong with Minnie Mouse. Let me see. Can you see that? No, not really. Anyway, cute. So I got this. I am finished with my Minnie Mouse um, boxes for this year, but you know, I'm gonna do one next year. So I got my water bottle. Also, sorry about this. It's the time of day where sun is just glaring through that window. So I've pulled down the shade, I've closed the curtain, and we're still just getting glorious sun from heaven. And then over here is work stuff. So sorry, it's life. Um, the next things I love to get, and I try to put one of these in every box, unless I'm crunched for space, and this is something that, while my heart aches a little if I don't get to send one, I'm okay with it. These are hand-powered LED flashlights. I've seen other people talk about these, um, and they buy them in bulk on Amazon, but it's cheaper for me to get them at Daiso, typically. So there's a blue and a red, and how they work is, um, this is this is clamped on to keep this lever shut. Um, but then if you open the clamp, the lever opens, and you can watch it, well I guess you can see it better on this side, it cranks, and you create your own energy, um, and then you close it, because you've pumped up the energy, and then you can turn on the light. Um, it's very bright. It's hard to see because my glorious sunlight coming in over here. But this is amazing. And as long as the lights don't burn out, they have power and they can do their homework. They can read a book. They can play and go look for frogs or bugs or anything in the dusky hours. Um, but I watched one of those videos one time about a kiddo who the favorite thing in his box was his flashlight because that meant that he could, um, he went to school and when he came home from school, he had to help the family in the fields and working to help them have their income. So by the time he was finished with his work chores, it was too dark at home to do his homework but he got a flashlight in his box and that was able to help him study and um, go on to further his education and help his family out of the situation that they were in, their economic situation. Um, he went on to get an education and help them. And so I really always try to put a flashlight because of that. And I love these because it doesn't matter if it's a gloomy day um, and you can't get solar power it doesn't matter if you don't have batteries. All you gotta do is give it a crank and turn it on. Um, so, I love these for $1.50 all day. And they only have um, at Daiso blue and red. And they don't even always have them. So when I see them, I grab them and I put them in the cart, all of them on the shelf, all of them. Buy them all. Another thing I really like to put in every box is a whistle. Now, I can typically find two different kinds of whistles at Daiso. Um, my favorite one is in the camping section, and I like it because it's a little smaller and sleeker. It is 
a stick whistle. I, I think that it's technically an emergency whistle, but it's like you blow up through the top and it's a tube, a tube whistle. And I really like those and they come in a silver and a gold, but they don't always carry those. Um, typically they carry them at the end of spring, early summer, getting ready for camping season. And now that summer is ending and camping season is over, they don't have them right now. But they do always have these athletic whistles, um, which I, I guess can technically be used um, as an emergency whistle too. But I just like them because kids like to make noise. <laughs> and blowing a whistle, they can play sports, it can be used in an emergency situation, or it can be used just for fun. Um, so I always include a whistle and I like to get them at Daiso for some reason, but along with a whistle, I always attach a lanyard. Now I do this for a couple reasons. Um, schools here in the States, mo a lot of them require or used to, I don't know anymore, require lanyards for IDs. Um, so I didn't know if there would be times or places where a kid would need an ID. But um, in case you haven't noticed, I've been playing with this as long as it's been in my hands. It's so soft, it's so soothing and calming, and I really like to include lanyards because it's a tactile thing. I want to include something comforting that this child might not have ever felt before. Um, this really fine, nylon. Um, this one is for my safari box, which has been hard for me to find some kind of a quality safari lanyard. So I just got this um, orange Mickey Mouse lanyard. I figured that counts, right? All the other, trying to make it kind of orangey safari themed, orange and green. Um, so this is the one that I got to go in that box. And yeah, I get them at Daiso if I can because they have licensed merchandise there for $1.50, which is insane. Um, just a couple more things. Um, I do get organza, 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 whatever, bags there. These, um, I get some at Dollar Tree too. The ones at Dollar Tree are in the party section near the baby shower stuff. So, and they are smaller than this. They are probably this big, the ones at Dollar Tree. But you get eight to a bag for $1. These ones are bigger, but you only get six to a bag for $1.50. So, um, there are some times when I need a bigger one. Like maybe, uh, for example, I got a lot of little figurines for my Paw Patrol box and I try, I'm trying this year to switch over from putting so much plastic to reusable bags. And so while I know organza bags are still technically plastic, they're very reusable and a little bit more durable than a Ziploc baggie and nicer, I think. So I got three different colors. I got a white, a purple, and a red. Um, they had pink and blue but I already have a lot of pink and blue. And if I need a larger one for a pink or blue box, I'll just use white. And then the last things on my list that I love to get at Daiso, I only get at Daiso, and I include in every box is a multi-pin. This is um, a pin that has four different inks on it. There's red ink, blue ink, green ink, and black ink. Um, and I just like to include one multi-pin in every box. So if they need blue ink, they can have it and etc. Like, here you go, all you need in one pen. I get them at Daiso because it is literally the cheapest I can find it. I've looked in bulk, I've looked on teacher supply websites, I've looked on Amazon, and they're not as cute as these. I can find them for the same price as these because it's three for $1.50. Um, so that makes them 50 cents a piece. So I can find them for 50 cents a piece other places, maybe even a little cheaper, but they're not 
color coordinated and I really like to color coordinate my boxes. So they have green, they have blue, which I also bought blue. They have pink, they have purple, and they have orange. They also have a solid white um, and everything is, it's not clear, it is white. Uh, solid white plastic and a white grippy part here or they have where this part is white and this part in the pack of three, one is white, one is blue, and one is red. Uh, but they still have the four inks. So I love Daiso. Um, some other things that I really like to get at Daiso are some of their school supplies. Um, they have really interesting erasers. You have to be careful because a lot of them are food um, themed, but they're so cute. Like, I know a lot of people have been putting those little pony erasers. They have all kinds of stuff like that at Daiso. Also, the erasers that we saw this year at Walmart um, that were in little snap boxes, there were some alien ones and dinosaur ones and under the sea ones. They have stuff like that, um, but just like also cars and teddy bears and puppies and you name it, erasers. Um, they also have rulers. And since Japan is not, um, they don't use inches, I mean, they acknowledge inches, but their rulers have um, centimeters and inches on them. And they can, um, pardon me, this is gonna be really crude, it, elementary, I guess. But they have, they're hinged. And so if the ruler like opens up to approximately one foot, it hinges and closes shut on itself so that it's half that length. So they go in the box great. Um, these they typically only have unlicensed characters. And this year they only had princess, like Disney princesses and um, Toy Story were the only two. Oh, and cars, they had cars too, uh, Disney's cars. Um, but I love using their school supplies because they are, um, they're made for other countries and we're sending these to other countries, not American children. And so um, I just I really like going to Daiso. It makes my brain think and just seeing some of the things they have there makes me think outside of our country and makes me think outside of what an American child of these ages would need and more of what an international child of these ages would need. Plus, I just love Japan. Like, it has my heart. I wish I could go and spend two or three months there every year, but I can't. So I just go to Daiso a lot and sit and <laughs> miss my cousin and miss a country that I love so very much. Um, but I really hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that it inspired you to um, pack some interesting things in your boxes or even just to go to Daiso and look around because the cooking section for stuff in my house, I love it. And you'll love it too. Um, the snack section is off the charts. I think this might be the first time ever that I went to Daiso and didn't come back with some sort of Japanese snack or Japanese drink to spoil me and my little mat man. Um, he didn't get anything from Daiso this time. Oh, no, I got him sunglasses. Yay, I'm a good wife. <laughs> but for real, um, if there is a Daiso near you or a Daiso near a place where you will be visiting, I really encourage you to go check it out. Um, and if you're seeing this just because you wanted to see a Daiso haul, well, hi. Um, I hope that maybe I introduced you to Operation Christmas Child, uh, where we pack shoe boxes and send them to international, well, we send them to Samaritan's Purse and Samaritan's Purse sends them internationally all over the world to give children in need um, a gift. And this is typically, they try to gift it around Christmas time, but depending on international travel and shipping and where they end up on freight and boxes and the terrain and the difficulty that it takes to get to these um, villages tucked away in foreign countries, Sometimes they don't get them for months, but they are intended to be Christmas gifts. Um, we turn in our shoe boxes every November and 
we pray for them and we hope that they get to the children that they are intended to get to and that they bring a blessing to that child's life. So if you have any questions about Daiso or any questions about Operation Christmas Child, I will do my very best to answer them or at least direct you to where we can find the answer together. Um, I hope you had a wonderful day. And if you've watched this long, blessings to you. Um, I really enjoy doing this even though it scares me. I really love it and I love being part of the community and I can't wait to see what you post next. Bye!